hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is valentine if you are new here and this is sickening affection so first of all the devil is a liar i have recorded this video and i used my camera but it um because i did not have someone at the back of the camera i could not get my focus right so i recorded everything and when i went to edit it i found that the focus was there not here anyway so I was to do another video but I'm going to be quick and do five tips to survive 2018. I'm sorry you are going to hear uh, a few noises, construction site. I'm, I'm really sorry, I need to move. So I'm going to give you five tips to survive next year. If you have never used these tips, uh, use them. You can try them out if you have been using them these are tips you do not want to let go some of them have used them this year and they have really worked for my beneficial for my bed to my benefit yeah that's what i mean so tip number one um faith it until you make it we have been living in an era where you fake it until you make it but it's just so easy when you know you faith it and by faithing it i mean just pray about everything the little issues the big issues the small issues is it your job is it your relationship is it your family just pray about it and have faith in god until you make it number two thing would be learn to say no and learning to say no, I'm actually going to quote this scripture. The book of 1 Corinthians 6, 12 says, Everything is permissible and not everything is beneficial to me. So before you make any choice in life, just ask yourself, okay, it might be permissible by law, but is it beneficial to me? How is it going to benefit me as a person, my spiritual work, and uh, my spiritual journey, anything? Just ask yourself, is it beneficial to me so number three thing you should do if you have never done is try and take a social media break i know you people uh and i will come out clearly and very honest because this also points points at me i am one person who dwells on social media i rarely watch news i rarely buy a newspaper and read like most of sorry the noise most of what the information i get i get it from social media and social media is good i mean i get to talk to my friends from wherever parts of the world and it is nice but have you ever had that feeling of you know you look at a video or a post and you're like hmm that was just scary by you know that feeling like you are sort of annoyed or jealous or angry or have you ever felt the pressure you know you look at couples on Instagram, you look at couples on Facebook and you know uh, the captions and the friendships people have and you feel like you're missing out on something, you know the formal thing. If you have felt some of these things and if you have felt like social media has eaten your time, like this time you could be doing a report for your boss, you could be reading your Bible, you could be studying for school, you could be reading a book, you could, you know, you could be doing something else but then you feel like like you have wasted uh, a few minutes on social media if you have felt any of those feelings i promise you it is the time to take that social media break it does not matter it could be a week it could be six months it could be the whole year it could be two months don't take the whole year because i need you people to be watching this video but whatever you can just take that break take that break and breathe on to number four the number four thing you should try and do next year is take a leap of faith. You know, someone once told me you are never really ready for anything and I want to believe that person because you prepare so much for things ahead in life but when you get to that point where you, you have what you have been preparing for, you never feel ready but you can always take a leap of faith. If you have done number one, you have prayed about it, you are faithing it, you can do number four and take a leap of faith and just trust God. You know, make sure you listen to his voice, but take that leap of faith. Stop staying behind, holding yourself back like you are scared. Number five thing you should definitely do to survive next year is ensure you are street smart. Sorry, gotta change my sitting position. Ensure you are street smart. 
early this year i lost my phone in a matatu in a very weird way i didn't know these tips uh, these tricks these guys use like i don't know fasten your seat belt open a window pick that coin for me and i fell for one of those pranks and while i was looking for my seat belt someone dug his hands into my bag and picked my phone and that was the end of my phone so long story short you need to be street smart catch up with these things know what you know the unwritten laws of living in a city or i don't know unwritten laws of life you need to catch up with those things so that you ensure you are you are safe another thing which um that was my number five but i have a bonus tip oh no not really a bonus tip but still under being street smart you know be street smart street smart valentine street smart be street smart nowhere you know this legit stuff uh for for women legit stuff of your face is being sold know what is being sold at a price but you can use it for a year i don't know just know where you can walk at night or where you cannot walk if you have to take those uh self-defense classes take them just be street smart to survive in a city or wherever you live you need these tips to survive okay guys that's all i had for today five tips to survive next year of course i could not uh, preempt everything and there's a lot of tips out there that can be useful so if you have any please make sure you comment in the comment box spam this video with your comments let us help each other survive next year and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet i do not know what you are waiting you know the drill guys subscribe to my channel like this video share and um see you again in my next video we shall be coming up next year so i wish you well happy new year and um merry christmas so see you again next year may god bless you may god keep you may god preserve you i will miss you all but see you again next year happy holidays bye bye